An execution date now set for Chuck E. Cheese killer Nathan Dunlap, but that doesn't mean it will still happen as scheduled. New at 10, 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen live digging into how Dunlap's defense team could find new ways to delay the execution. Well, I just talked to his defense attorney a few hours ago, and first the defense plans to petition the gover governor for clemency, and today the judge set the execution for the week of August 18th, but vic victim's family members have been doing this too long to get their hopes up for what they consider justice. August. It's, it's going to be in August. Even as he says the words, it's clear that after 19 years, Sylvia Crowell's father doesn't believe it. We'll just have to say we'll see what happens because we've had so many hearings and delays. No video cameras, only still photos are allowed in this courtroom today for the hearing setting Nathan Dunlap's execution date. We believe the death penalty is unjust. Outside the courtroom, death penalty opponents ask for clemency for the man accused of killing four former co-workers inside this Aurora Chuck E. Cheese. We uh, ask the governor not to carry out the, any executions. A fair sentence would be a life sentence without parole. The legal fight isn't over either. In court today, the judge set a hearing for June before the execution so the defense can argue it's cruel and unusual to execute someone who's been in prison this long. And we will not stop trying to save Mr. Dunlap's life now or next week or the week after. 19 years ago, four innocent people were struck down. Prosecutors past and present remember the victims and encourage the governor to let justice be served in the courts. To take this away from the voters, to take this away from the jurors who sat on this case, that is an injustice. Family members tell me they are meeting with the governor's office Friday to talk about their feelings on clemency. The governor has not made a decision in this case, but has said it's one of the toughest issues he's dealt with.